you need me. For we are all, we're all a part of God's body. Stand with me, agree with me. For we are all a part of God's body. Good afternoon, everybody. I ask you to station yourselves wherever you are in a moment of humility. There are disadvantages to being vertically challenged. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and if you would just think in whatever tradition you bring into this space, under this tent, at this time and place, be there. O oh, gracious and loving God, we enter into this place with enough space for everybody and some to spare for the rest of us. We, we, we recognize that some of us think we must build walls not just to keep others out, but to keep in that which we have staked a claim to. We ask that we be, be mindful of that which we claim to be private, personal, exclusive, and ownership only by us gives us the right to dominate and destroy. We speak of the earth and its creations. May we be spared of losses that we created, the loss of sense and our senses the loss of our touch, our smell, our vision of who we are and who you are and who the earth is, the loss of our disconnectedness to each other and the earth in relationship to ourselves, each other, and that place in which we live and move and have our being. May we rest, rest from the frantic pace of doing the numbing space of technology, the frightful pace of competition at any and all cost, the competition that causes injury and hurt to others, ourselves and this great earth. We pause for the much needed rest as we are reminded to be renewed, to be revived, and to be a part of each one of us, to be reconnected to the spirit of who we are and the work we're called to do. We come to reclaim that which we have lost. We declare a time out so that we'll have the strength and the courage, the wisdom to create a world for all of God's creations. We want to rest. We need to let the earth rest. We will reflect, remember, reclaim this beauty that is enough for all of God's creations. It is enough for us to remember how to live in peace and harmony. We declare a Sabbath, and as a poet said, let a new earth arise. Let a bloody peace be written. We lift our prayers that they may find rest in the places where they are so very much needed within ourselves, in our hearts, our minds, our spirits, our hands, and our bodies. For we seek power through, not power over. And again, as the poet said, let a new earth arise. Let another world be born. Let a second generation full of courage issue forth. Let a people loving freedom, peace, and justice come to growth. <clears throat> Let the earth be filled with the beauty, healing, and strength that it may flow through our bodies, our spirits, and our minds. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. You need me. You need me. For we are all. We're all, We're all.